catch up with Harry Potter and his pals as they begin to tackle their teens, and it's not so easy anymore for the Hogwarts faculty to cast a spell on these young wizards. That includes Alan Rickman as the ever-surly Professor Snape. Are you incapable of restraining yourself, or do you take pride in being an insufferable know-it-all? Page 394. It's not enough that Harry is dealing with a growing spirit of rebellion and his changing powers. He's also learning more about the demons of his past. Gary Oldman plays the man jailed for being implicated in the plot against Harry's parents, and he has just escaped from prison. Everyone believes young Potter will be his next victim. I hope he finds me. Because when he does, I'm going to be ready. Terrifying creatures called Dementors are assigned by Hogwarts to keep the villain at bay, but they aren't the ideal protectors. A word of caution. Dementors are vicious creatures. They will not distinguish between the one they hunt and the one who gets in their way. Come on. Uh, hey, 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 hey! Robbie Coltrane returns as Hagrid, the gentle giant gamekeeper, and this time he has an extraordinary new pet called a hippogriff. Part horse, part bird. He looks a lot scarier than he really is. Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint, and Emma Watson continue to be a solid, charming trio, but it's Hermione who often is the scene stealer. I found a load of them evil little cockroach! Oh! That felt good. Alfonso Caron takes over as director this time and gives the characters a real edge. The storytelling is not so bewitching this time, more dark and ominous. Harry's world is getting darker and more devious, and Daniel Radcliffe, who plays Harry, is even speculating that his character might end up dying at the end of the series. I only hope that if they stay with the original cast of kids as they continue to grow up, the material won't suffer because the temptation might be to turn this into a Teen Wizards versus Monster Slasher series, and that would betray the spirit of Harry and the audience. As for the sequel, it's not quite as good as the first two chapters, but it's still wonderful and it's engaging. I give Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban three and a half stars, and I'm Roger Ebert, ABC 7 News. Stay